Hey people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to fencing. No, this is not an official gameplay, but we are gonna be visiting more old games that I played a long time ago. And this is one of them. And I used to do a crap ton of video on these types of games. So straightforward. Um uh, fence, you try to get a streak. Look at the gap though, like, defending buildings here, and then you have a huge gap. You don't just fence with people here, you can hang out with, like, random people for no reason, and have a good time. So, I think this case game can be prone to, like, hanging out and stuff, but sometimes hacking goes, can go. And it is not cool at all. I've actually found videos, like old videos of like people hacking the game. And randomness. How often do I play this game? I actually don't play it anymore. Like, I only go here just for the fun of it. But overall, I really don't play fencing as often as I used to back in the past. So that's all. This server is already getting weird, so we're just gonna slide out to the next game. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Welcome to the Iron Cafe, and this is one of the most popular hangout places of 2011. I go here so much just for chilling, or like if I had a big day, then I would go here and relax and enjoy the building and stuff right here. Um, this place is dead, obviously, there's like, I don't see any people here, and these uniforms. <laughs> if you remember, guys remember the uniforms, and then there were magazines, I don't know what happened to the magazines. And, really fun hangout place, it was like criticized for having a lot of online data, and it rivaled with another game. Group or so, if I if I remember, and there's like VIP rooms, uh, the secret room, which I actually don't know what it is. Oh, what secret room? I could go through. Um, uh, and simple stuff and hot dogs. Anywho, um. Just let me know if you know the Iron Cafe, if you don't, then I'll be disappointed. Just kidding. But if you guys were around my time, like 2010 or 2011, then you would probably remember this game. Welcome to Dark and Dawn. And previously it was called Vampire Roleplay. And obviously you make an OC here. And you roleplay. Straightforward, huh? Um, I don't roleplay, but I explore stuff. Why are people in here? I need to teleport to the main portion. Oh, this is the clothing area. Sorry. Um, where is the... Wait. Teleport to town. Okay. Holy cow. Oh, wow. I've never... Wow. What happened? Whoa, it was never like this when I like, came here. It was like all blocks, but this is actually so cool. Like, this got a huge makeover. What just happened? I'm gonna question. What just happened? But this secret dungeons and uh, secret weapons you can get. Uh, it's a graveyard somewhere. And I do know where that is. Uh, you have a lantern. Um, I love to explore and I'm pretty much adventurous. And even in real life, I can be quite adventurous. Whoa, it's so better than the original one. Although I do like the original better than this. But this is like, oh my goodness. It's really laggy by the way, so if you're gonna play this, then I'm gonna warn you, you have to have a really good computer, cause 
like this game doesn't crash my computer well sometimes I lose connection mainly because of how many blocks there are but you gotta be careful of like um like how you what well I think there's some old elements incorporated but um you stop uh, on one of the under dungeons like under uh I almost said Undertale, uh, one of the dungeons in this game, so, um, if you want to explore more of this and that stuff, then go ahead. All the games that I featured on here will be linked in the description box down below. Welcome to Surfer Tournament and it is still going on, I am pretty surprised. Um, and straightforward. Uh, so I find in like tournaments, there's a different game modes. There's tournament mode, then juggernaut, and then uh, king of the hill in the, in the there. And two v two. There's so many modes in this. And if you buy the Crimson Kanata Game Pass, then you get a bonus with it. You get the green energy sword, which I still have. It's still in like 75 Robux. And again, I don't really go to this that much, despite on its simple, uh, simple gameplay. And yet, I rarely get wins because I tend to die a bit too much and I get made fun of, and it's quite a sad story, if you ask me. I've waited for this. Mode to end. I mean, the last mode that I was playing. It took so long. Okay, so this is the Crimson Game Pass, and I got the bonus with it. Um, do I just. Yep, I'm gonna do more more. Because I have not suffered in quite a while. Someone has a dagger. Hey, yeah. Yeah, come on. Come here. Come here. I knew I was gonna do horrid. Oh my goodness. That was kind of a disaster. Um. Anywho. Next game. Welcome to Epic Island Game Wars. And, um, the straightforward use the gears that you have and battle people out. For some reason, this game, like, was. Like somewhere in my in the in the front page area, and I was like, hmm, "What's this?" And I decided to play this for no reason, and I got addicted to it. I think the most frequent weapon was used was the Roblox orb or something. I forgot the technical name of it, but there's different islands. We got um, pyramids, heaven, hell, tunnel, Candyland, Winterland. Super Mario, futuristic, um, fish bowls, volcanoes, a giant dinner table, um, a giant ice castle, uh, oboes. A lot of these maps are like really simple, and I think it's just at the time when like guys and like other uh, cool features of um, Roblox were like starting to develop. Quackety quack quack. Okay. <laughs> it's quite funny. Oh shoot! I I I I fell off. Okay. Welcome to the draw game. And um, I usually go here once in a while with my friends if I feel like that um I'm in a dry mood and um uh, we draw together. <laughs> um, I go here once in a while and. Um, sometimes I, my drawing is like right here, and I don't turn out the way I want it to be turned out. And I could show you quickly, I'm gonna grab a room first, if there's enough rooms. If there isn't enough rooms, then I will be very upset. This is a huge paper here, and paper up here, okay, and you just do little stuff. And you can change the color and you can also change like the size 
think of it as paint to a side, alright? And if you don't like it, then you can just erase. Which, the eraser tool can be a little bit evil sometimes. I feel like drawing something just for you guys, but only like just one drawing. Um, I think I'll draw just Bufaru. Just his head. I would do the whole body. I'm just gonna do like Robloxy you know, for him because I think doing like anime form or chibi form in this is kind of a little bit of a pain for me. So if you guys are wondering if there are rules in this game, there are rules and it says listen to our staff so they can do their job, refrain from insulting at someone, and don't draw anything not safe for work because obviously this is a Roblox game. You can also listen to music if you want some um, music if when you're drawing. I actually do that a lot when I when I do like doodles. Also I kind of just did like half body Rufaro because I just feel like it. Da da we have Rufaro here and um He looks so cute uh, I mean that's how I drew him it's so adorable. Um so that's the point, just do it on your own time. And I would definitely recommend this game for any drawing lovers out there. I just love how the drawing thing is so scripted and it's just so amazing. And um, this, you can only do a limited amount of lines, so if you do over 3k, I think something happens. I think you can't draw anymore. Welcome to our final game in this. This is um, Adventure Force Star Savior, and um, it was one of my favorite games, and it has a really cool storyline. This is the same person who made Super Paper Roblox. Um, I actually did a gameplay on Super Paper Roblox, and I have all the stars. There's all 51 stars in total, and one of my favorite maps is probably Clock. Tower and another one which I won't show you because it is a secret. And really simple design. Uh, I just love the story. And I think there's a sequel to this. I just can't remember. Like, is it? I think it's called Points of Conflict. And it is still in development. It's been in development for a very long time. And when it's released, I really want to do a gameplay on that one as well. Um, this is not the music that's supposed to play, but this is so laggy, and I should warn you guys that this game can lag as well. Or probably the mechanics are just really off, and this music is not supposed to be playing, this is supposed to be playing a different song. I think it's Slido or something. And I... yeah, um... I wish the sequel was out right now so I could do a gameplay on it and we're done with this video and thank you guys so much for watching I will link all the games in that I featured in the description down below and I will see you all in the next video bye Wait, what was I doing? Hello, and welcome back to my channels. And um, wait, what? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? What's my intro again? <laughs> I don't know my own intro. Now, if you guys wonder how often I play fencing. I actually don't really play this game as much as I used to in the past, and um, I really got bored of it. Um, like something. How dare you! What is he saying? I'm sorry, but. Me not speak Spanish. This server is already getting weird. Um, as I was saying, welcome to Vampire World Place. Actually, the name right now is Dark and Dawn. I should have mentioned that. And if you buy the 
uh, Crimson Canada Game Pass Katana Canada Katana whatever you pronounce it. If you break the <sighs> oh, okay. I feel like this music is gonna get copyrighted, so I'm a bit scared. There we go. I think this should be better. And I'm gonna show you one of the um, islands, not this one. Islands? Jesus Christ. I don't know my vocabulary anymore. <laughs>